Hey, what's up everyone? This is Chris Featherstone, and today I wanted to talk about how you can take a stereo track and convert it to a mono track using Logic Pro 10, and then re-import that file so that you can mix your entire song in mono. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here we are in Logic Pro 10, and what I wanted to show you how to do is convert a stereo track into a mono track. And if you have a stereo track in Logic Pro 10, you can um, see this visually with the symbol shown here. You can see that you just have a double circle that is intertwined. Visually, if you zoomed in on your waveforms, then you can see that you have a left and a right channel, um, as shown here. And if you look at the track right above it, it's a mono track. It has one circle um, symbol shown, and then it just has a center waveform here. So I like to personally uh, mix everything in mono. It helps you avoid phase cancellation, and in a later video I'll help explain that better. But for now, I just want to show how to get from stereo to mono. So if we look at this piano file here, or this piano track, I'm going to solo it out and hit Command B. If you hit Command B, it'll basically prompt the bounce uh, option that you have. And I'm going to go ahead and bounce this as a WAV file. And right here where it says file type, it says interleaved. That is not what I want for converting. What I want to do is split it. So it's going to split into a left and a right channel, which will be basically mono, and you'll see that coming up. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. OK, so now that we went ahead and we bounced out our stereo file um, and we split it, what we want to do is re-import it. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new track. It's going to be an audio track and I'm going to hit Create. And if we look at our desktop, we can see that we have two audio files. We have dropkick.l.wave and dropkick.r.wave. And if we import one of these, it doesn't matter which one, we can see that it didn't really convert it to mono. We have a stereo icon here, the two circles that are intertwined, and we have a left and right channel. So it didn't really achieve what we were looking for. Um, however, what you can do is if you go back to either one of these WAV files on your desktop and you just rename it, it could still be Dropkick or whatever. I'm going to go ahead and rename it to just piano dot wave. And the trick here is really getting rid of the dot L or the dot R. Um, and what I'm going to do is import that file. And you can see that it is a mono file now. It's showing the single circle, and we have the center channel shown here. So this is how you convert a stereo track into a mono track um, in Logic Pro 10 and re-import it. And you can see that in my entire song here, I'm mixing everything in mono. So you can see the single circles and everything. This is how I like to mix for the purposes of avoiding phase cancellation. And then when you're done with your project, you can bounce it out as a stereo file. All right, guys, that's how I convert a stereo track to a mono track using Logic Pro 10. It definitely doesn't feel like the most convenient method to use, but it's the best one that I've found so far. So if you guys have any inputs, just leave them in the comments below, and I'd love to try out your suggestions. I hope this video helped you guys out. Um, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.